Hello Mads, it's Friday the 6th of January, it's my third vlog in a row, but it's my last proper vlog I'll do until Sunday. That's next Sunday. So I've all, I've translated my lighting setup to my normal vlogs as well, because I think they needed a bit of lighting improvement, as seen by my last vlog from here. Um, I don't think you can see me that well, because I've positioned the light there, and the light is probably kind of on this side of my face, but it is this side. So, uh, not sure about that. I'm gonna only see while editing, and I can't really change it then. So, uh, I'm gonna need, you're gonna have to live with it right now. I've noticed after one month of vlogging with you that we are both pretty different vloggers. You are more of a travelling vlogger. You take your camera everywhere and you film everything you see. Whereas I like to do my vlogs in one take. Well, not one take, but. Me a pretty much one take. Yeah, one take, barely any other clips used. I just like to talk to the camera. More traditional vlogging. You're more of a travelling vlogger, I'm more of a traditional vlogger. That's what the subscribers should get used to over the, like the next uh, 11 months. And again, they've already had a month to get used to it, so they should be used to it by now. I'm actually really worried about the space of my camera. It might run out because I've only got like 5, well, 10 minutes left to record. So I can't make my vlog that long today. Um, and which is good because I'm recording late again. Yeah, I really have trouble finding time. But good thing is, is uh, two weeks time. I will have a lot of times half term. Woot woot. Okay, so one thing I'm wondering about is who would you put in your Reading FC um, all time eleven? Now someone asked me that earlier this week, and I actually had a really uh, what's the word for it? I found it really interesting thinking about our history and who would you put in your uh, starting best ever. So, I'm probably going to share a few players from it, not a whole team, but just a few players from my all time 11 before you do it tomorrow or Sunday. I put probably Steve Death in goal. I put Graham Murty as right back simply because for 10 years he was at us, and about 6 of those years he was our first team right back which is pretty good and he obviously got the record number of points which is a good thing as well I'm not entirely sure I put a centre back we haven't really had a lot of incredible centre backs I would have put I'd probably put Inge Marsen there simply because he was the key member of our 6-7 season and that helped us stay in the Premier League um, so obviously I put Ivo Inge Marsen in there by any other centre backs though who I put in well, I'm not sure about centre back or really any defence. Apart from left back I might uh, yeah, I'm not sure about any defence actually. But Kebe on the right, I think uh, in his last season he is decent, but in 2010, 11, 11, 12 he's really good and actually every season in between eight, nine and actually he's pretty good in twelve, thirteen, you know. He was our um, first team right mid and you're looking great for that, he is amazing though. Changed up the setup a little bit for this vlog because I realised that the light was falling on my face at a really awkward angle. I think it still is, but hopefully it's receded now and you can actually see me better. So I would put Kevin Doyle's up front along with probably Dave Kitson, I don't know. Either Kitson or Long up front. I'll probably put Long up front. Send him mid. I think it's not really selecting players from they ages ago because I don't really know a lot of Reading players from ages ago and also um, the players from today have done more uh, than the players ages ago so I don't know who I put in centre mid um, I don't know who I put in centre mid actually I don't really know uh, I'd, I'd see who you say in your Reading FC all time 11. Okay, so I'm running out of space with my camera and I think this is under four minutes, like legit. Um, I changed the angle again, I just want to see how much time I had and I um, think I'm under four minutes, so uh, I don't know if I am. Last week I said I wasn't, but I actually. Last week I said, last week I, said I was under four minutes, but it turned out I wasn't. This week though, I genuinely think I'm under four minutes, so. Uh, that will mean I have a punishment, and I've got to find something to 
put on the video. Think about what to add to the vlog. Uh, I don't really have anything else shown already. I'm out. I'm genuinely out. If I feel the vlog is under four minutes, I'll accept a punishment. Matt, I will see you tomorrow. I'm extending my words because I wanted to be over four minutes. And I will, you will see me on Thursday and I will see you in real life on Monday. And I will see you tomorrow. I've already said that. Shut up. See you tomorrow.